Hey, what's going on, guys? Toxic Devastation here, bringing you uh, Search and Destroy on Kowloon. This is actually my gameplay. We usually use Celestial Divinity 47s, but this time we're gonna switch it up, and uh, this is actually me playing here. This is um, a dual commentary. My boy Celestial Divinity. What's up, man? Yeah, what's going on? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, what do you call it? We're, we're gonna try to be doing, uh, as many of these dual commentaries as we can, and we're just gonna try to make this, uh, a regular thing from now on, so, yeah, people, uh, expect them. So, yeah, we're gonna be, uh, pushing them through our channels, as I like to say. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, let's, uh, let's move on to the top of this video. It's actually a pretty long gameplay. You usually don't, uh, you usually don't see, uh, me or Toxic playing, uh, Search and Destroy much, but people, uh, people wanted us to diversify our channels a little bit, so we were like, I, you know, may as well do Search and Destroy. So this is the first time, I believe this is the first video either of us are doing that's actually on Search and Destroy, but, uh, yeah, the general thing we're gonna be talking about is, uh, tips for Search and Destroy, what kind of setups we're on and all that, so, yeah, Toxic, uh, go ahead, take it away. Alright, well, as you see in this gameplay, I'm using the MP5K with Rapid Fire, which is a typical Russian class. I'm using, I believe, Fly Jacket Pro, Spider Hand Pro, or Steady Aim Pro. Uh, I'm not sure which one. I might switch around classes, but I know I'm definitely using Fly Jacket Pro and Marathon Pro for the first few rounds of this gameplay. And uh, as you can see me doing here, I'm not pushing it too hard, but I am rushing, as you can probably see. Uh, some machine guns are the main type of gun you want to be using when you rush. You want to either use a submachine gun or a shotgun. It's very unusual to see someone rush around with like an AK or a Galil or a Commando. So yeah. Yeah, uh huh. And uh, for me, whenever I usually play Search and Destroy, I this is actually one of the few game modes that I don't like to rush in Search and Destroy. I usually like to use something like a, uh, usually a class I like is uh, AK-47 suppressed with a. Uh, uh, Flak Jacket Pro, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Marathon. Yeah. I mean, uh, in Search and Destroy, you either want to be uh, two different types of uh, players. You either want to be a sit-back person who defends the bombs and tries to plant the bomb as as uh, quickly as he can, or you want to be a, a hard rusher who tries to push the push the game up, try to get a spy planning, and get your, get your team going. As you can see here, I'm kind of doing both in a way. I'm kind of am playing the objective, but I kind of am rushing, as you can see. But the MP5K is probably one of the best guns to use in SND, in my opinion, especially for Kowloon. But to me, Kowloon, it has parts in the map that are pretty long, but that, the, only, the main two parts of the map are in the back, behind A, which not too many people stay back there, so you're not going to expect to get into any gun counters. There and behind uh, C, which then again, a lot of people don't stay back there. Your main gunfights are going to be in buildings and close corner engagements, which a submachine gun or a shotgun is going to do you the best. Yeah, and I, and I noticed you actually switched between a few classes this game. That's, that's some diversity because you can see how he uh, he's he was playing initially, trying to rush he, rush as hard as he could with the MP5K, and then he was realizing that that was working pretty good. But he was saying, well, maybe uh, I could switch it up, see if something else worked better this team because uh, they might be catching on to my whole rush strategy. So then he switched to a suppressed Galil, and he really he just went under the radar, and uh, he started doing really good once he pulled this up. Yeah, and I, uh, one thing, the one reason why you're gonna see me using Ghost, and I'm not gonna lie, I do use it. I use it from time to time, only in Search, though. I, I typically never use it in Domination or TDM or anything besides Search and Destroy. But, uh, the only reason why I pretty much did pull up that Ghost class is because I'm pretty sure we are down in rounds, and I was on a win streak. I was on, I don't know where I was on the win streak, but I was pretty sure I was on a win streak, which I think that just ended last night, in case you guys were wondering. But, um, yeah pull out the Galil and I just go to work. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I know it's uh, probably my two best, or my best two search and destroy guns is like a suppressed AK-47 or a suppressed Galil. And that's another class I like to use is like either a suppressed Galil or a suppressed AK-47 with Ghost and Ninja. Because uh, you can just really be stealthy that way. Because, uh, there's two types, that's a two, like you were saying earlier, there's two main types of playing in Search and Destroy. You either are like a full out rusher, trying to surprise people, or you're gonna try to be stealthier and defend the bombs and whatnot. So yeah, uh, I'm usually a more stealthy player as far as Search and Destroy is considered. I heard you con uh, considered using Ninja. For me, I mean, I have a Turtle Beach PX5 headset, but uh, it seems like in Black Ops, using Ninja Pro, 
is not as effective as it was in MW2 or any other Call of Duty. I don't know what it is, uh, just in this game you can't sound whore people as loud, so I typically don't use Ninja. But yeah, if you were staying stealthy, you should use Ninja, especially Pro, because not a lot of people do use that perk anyway. And if you have a Pro version, if you do have a headset, you can easily hear them plant the bomb, and you'll easily get kills off them, and you'll easily win. Yeah, uh -huh, and uh, yeah, that's another thing. Uh, I noticed that uh, usually, yeah, Black Ops probably has like the quietest footsteps and all that. And I, I remember uh, Treyarch explaining it uh, how they, why that they were going to make the footsteps quieter because uh, they said that uh, they shouldn't have heavy footsteps because they're like trained professionals that the game's trying to portray and all that. So yeah, that's why uh, in Modern Warfare 2 and in Call of Duty 4, I like to use like a dead ninja and dead silence a lot in those because the footsteps are really loud. But I noticed in Black Ops, that's when I really stopped using ninja because uh, I noticed that a marathon helps out a lot, a lot more because the sound horn is way, way harder. Yeah, and uh, as you can see in the beginning part of this video, I was rushing. And a quick little tip about rushing is uh, not a lot of people are going to expect you to run right up the middle of the map. And when I say that, you guys should believe me, because a bunch of people, when they first fall in SND, they try to get into a spot where they're going to stay for the whole game. At least that's who I play against on the PS3 system. But I don't know about you guys on Xbox, but uh, let, let me know in the comments about that. A lot of people like to camp. But uh, when you do rush straight up the middle with Lightweight Pro and Marathon Pro, you will pick off people. You might die, but you are guaranteed to get w at least one kill, which I pretty much do every time I rush in this video. Yeah, it seems like if you use lightweight pro and marathon pro, that you can really catch the other team off guard. Like you were saying, use uh, like I've had times before where I've ran straight up the middle of the map with that perk, uh, with those with that perk setup on smaller maps, and I've literally killed nearly the entire team within the first 30 seconds. Just but because. there is a risk to that using lightweight and marathon. As you can see, I use flat jacket and marathon pro. Uh, the reason why I use Flag Jacket is because in Search and Destroy, a lot of people use Claymores, and I'm using Marathon, so I can't use Hacker. With Lightweight and Marathon, you're pretty much, like, you're gonna die if you run into Claymore, Grenade, Simtexes, especially in SND, because people like to use Claymores and C4 and all of that. Because, you know, those people, I just like to quick scope and throw C4s around. Yeah, you know it. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, and that, that's how you actually died right there. I think that guy uh, quick scoped you. Which is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why people still try to fucking quick scope in this goddamn game. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. But uh, uh yeah, that, that that's uh that's the other thing I was gonna say. And yeah, you you switch back from the FAL back to the Galil, and yeah, it's just I'm getting my ass raped. Yeah, <laughs> and it just it just seems to me that uh, uh I don't know. I just don't want to talk about Search and Destroy itself. I just don't really uh, like Search and Destroy as the other game was because. I don't really enjoy. Uh, I don't. I think it's too slow paced, but that's just for that's for me. I know that Search and Destroy is one of the most popular game modes in Black Ops, but it's just uh, too slow paced. So I don't happen to be very good at it because of that. <laughs> yeah, most S and D players, all they play is S and D. I mean, like you're not gonna find. You're really not gonna find too many people in this game, or too many of your friends play S and D and also play like TDM or Domination. Because S and D, you need to have multiple classes made before the match starts. You might need a steady aim class, a spot of hand class, an MP5K class, a ghost class as I have here with the Galil, a sword rifle class, a sniper class. I mean, you're gonna need a lot of variations, even between perks and attachments. A silencer class, you know. So yeah. You off known, yeah. Uh -huh. And yeah. you pick up an L96 here, and this is a nice one right here. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that was fucking. God sweet. damn. I am too fucking nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Uh, the end score was uh, 15 and 3. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Bye, right, guys. Peace.